Darkblade, Exo Dark Enforcers, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. What's going on? What's good with your pimp? Dark Enforcers Esports Gaming Network. We're doing big things. All right, so I'm sure some of y'all saw my uh, last video about how to buy skill points properly, wisely, and, and a few people, um, some in the comments, some in actual tells like so long and I didn't feel like you know watching it all give us like a short version of it and that one random person that was like yeah uh, I think he said quirkiness or whatever yeah, I don't really care about that a anyway um so I figured okay maybe I'll give you guys a short version of it you know something that's like maybe 10 minutes at most if even that maybe just like seven minutes but I'll give you guys a short version. So everything I was saying on here, uh, keep in mind, I expect you guys to already know what feed points are, what skill points are, what skill is, all that good shit, right? And I expect you guys to already know how to actually purchase uh, feed points. If you don't know, then there is a detailed video you guys can already watch. So just go back to that video. Matter of fact, I'll put a link in the description below just to make it easier. All right. Um, I'm gonna draw a few things up on the screen, just like last time, but it's gonna be real fast. Okay, so everybody knows. Feet points, you guys know what the one star is. You guys know what the two star is. And you guys know what the three star is. And the four star, uh, were in the game when the DLC came out. Somehow between that time and now, they were all downgraded to three stars. So the last video is a little bit incorrect, sorry about that. But yeah, those were downgraded to three stars. I don't know why, and yeah, like I said, I was I, I play the game now mostly for the events. I don't really play content too much, so I'm a little bit out the loop on that one. So if anybody knows about that, just let me know. Comment section. Go ahead, let me know. Anyway, since you guys know the information, let's move on. Okay, so what I'm telling you guys is this: it doesn't really matter what you buy as far as feet points, but I'm saying that you guys should be a little smart about what you choose to buy. Some feats are just simply so easy to get, you shouldn't probably should not buy them. But that's not really what I'm making this video for. These videos are for, or at least this one right here, is about the feats that you should just avoid getting, period. Alright, so once again, I'm going to make this really, really fast. Okay, let's go to... No, 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 we're not doing that. We're going to go to seasonal. Eh, wait, should we go to seasonal? Fuck that. We're going to go to episodes. Let's go to. Yeah, I guess that won't work. Are you serious? Okay. Yeah. All right, this works good. Bombshell. Okay. Okay, so information is already on the screen still. You guys have seen it. Okay, taking that information off. I hope you guys remember what I said. What I'm saying is this. It is a lot simpler to just avoid getting certain things. Now, for instance, this is my advice. Take away from what you will. Avoid getting two-star feats as far as buying them back. Try to avoid them. Now, of course, there are certain feats you're going to definitely just want to say, I'm not going through that. But there are certain feats that you should just take your time out and get again. For instance, if you look at it right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. That's easy. That's two star. Go ahead and get that. This one. Easy, simple. These two. Go ahead and just take your time and get those feats. Now, there are certain feats you probably don't want to have to deal with anymore. For instance, there's chain link. You might not want to deal with that, especially because of pug groups. This one's be kind of hard to get. And then there's the no more, no less, which, if you guys hurry up, currently, you can get that in the pug run just by killing stuff fast currently. Anyway, um, that's not really what this video is about. The reason I'm saying this is this. Because of how things are, the pricing-wise and financial and the points you get from each thing, it is actually financially better and you save more marks if you avoid getting two-star feats. Alright, so I'm going to draw it back on the screen real quick. I want to make this video fast. Okay, so here's the one star worth that many points. There's the two star worth this many points. There's the three star worth that many points. And then here are the replays you need to get certain things. Okay. So, okay, cut that scream in half now. Oh. This is why I'm saying that. If I get three one stars, that's three replays, and I have 30 points. If I get one two star, that's three replays still, and it's only 25 points. So which one's better to get? 
you're better off getting the one star. All right. Okay, now let's, uh, same thing. Same thing, drove stuff back up on the screen. Boom, right there. Okay, cool. Now, same thing. Let's talk about the two star and the three star, okay? So, one three star is, you know, five replays, 50 points. Right there, okay? One two star is, you know, three replays and 25 points. Now, to equal up to the 50, you're going to have to get it twice. So, then you got, you know, two two stars. That's 50 points. So, it's 50-50. Looks even, right? Looks even. Now, unfortunately, one of them is this one two star is three replays. That means that two two stars are six. So now you got five replays, and then you have six replays. Same amount of points, but you gotta spend one extra replay just to get two two stars. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, it's actually better if you avoid buying certain two star feats. Now, as I said earlier, some feats you're just not gonna want to do over again, but. For the most part, you may want to chance it, because, God, it's, you're losing marks every time you get a two-star feat, absolutely. You're losing marks. You're using badges. Not marks, my bad. Not marks. You're losing badges every time you do that. Flat out. Flat out. Okay, now I'll move on to my last point. Also, when you're buying feats, remember... Certain feats are automatically given to you when you get other feats, so don't just buy everything you see. It's like this person says, hey, if you buy this and this, you get this free, but then you're still the same person who was like, you know what, I just want to buy the free gift too. Like, for what? Like, like for what? Now, I know some people are like, free feats? What are, you, what are you talking about? There's free feats? Yeah, there are free feats, and I'm not talking about the feats that if you just do it, you get it. That's not really free. You gotta go through something. I mean, like, Feats that are granted to you just because you completed other stuff. Okay, for instance, seasonal. Okay, so right here. Making waves. This is part of the summer seasonal. To get this feat, you must complete the following feats. Current fashion, marine time, full net, wave runner, sea dog, sea fire. Alright, grants a title once you complete it. Also, as you can see, I could just buy this feat if I wanted to. This is a free feat. Why would you buy it? This is given to you automatically. Alright, let's go to Tides of War. These are part of the feats that I need right here to get that feat. I could ours. buy these, or I could just wait till the Summer Regional Event comes out and just do them simply and get them for free. But let's say I wanted to buy this, right? If, if I buy these feats right here, that means that the one on the general page over here is automatically granted to me but when you first click on seasonal you see these feats and most people are just gonna buy the screen up I've done that tons of times with tons of characters until I finally stopped and th thought about it why am I spending replays on feats that I don't have to spend replays on like feats that are just given to me freely because I bought other feats why are I completed other feats why am I buying free crap that's what I mean so yeah Try to be careful when you're buying feats, and that is a long story short compared to the other video. Alright. Hope this has helped you guys out. Remember, this is the short version. If you guys want a full detailed on everything, skill points, skill, speed, all that good shit, check out the last video. Alright, see you guys later. This is your boy Darkblade X X of Dark Enforcers, aka Black Hawk Division Leader for DCO. Dark Enforcers, Darkness Rises. Holla.